This time we're going to be solving a logarithmic equation in which there is a, one log on each side of the equation. Recall that we talked about the property if there's two logs with the same base, log base b of x equals log base b of y, same basis, then for this equation to be valid, x has to equal y. So I have log base 6, x squared minus 6 equals log base 6 of x. Since these are both base 6, then I can just say, okay, x squared minus 6 equals x. This is just a quadratic equation. I move the x to the left, and I'm going to solve by factoring, just as I would another quadratic equation. This is x plus a factor, and then x minus a factor of 6 equals 0. Factors of 6 are 1 and 6 and 2 and 3, and I need them to add up to negative 1. So negative 3 plus 2 equals negative 1. I'm going to put the 2 here and the 3 here. Using the zero product property, I can solve this because x plus 2 equals 0 and x minus 3 could equal 0, and either way, this is going to become 0. x equals negative 2 for this, and another solution is x equals 3. Now, I have two possible solutions, two potential solutions. I need to check these. Let's go up here and look at this with the negative 2. I've got log base 6 of x squared minus 6. If x equals negative 2, then I'm going to end up with log base 6 of 4 minus 6, or log base 6 of negative 2. That is not valid. I could have also just looked up here and said, okay, if x equals negative 2, I'd be taking log base 6 of negative 2. So that is not valid. The solution is not valid. Let's try x equals 3. Well, if x equals 3 and I take the log base 6 of 3, that's okay. Let's check this one out. Log base 6 of x squared minus 3. Okay. Log base 6, and we're letting x equal 3 here, of 3 squared minus 3. So that's log base 6 of 9 minus 3, or log base 6 of 3, which is positive. That's allowable. Log base 6 of 3 is allowable, so these are both allowable. Therefore, the solution is simply x equals 3. We came up with two solutions. One was extraneous. We checked and found that we have one valid solution, which is x equals 3.